don't see any guards or sentries, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. We stick to cover. Move in groups of two. Inside, we'll cover the doorways while Barnes wires the C4. We good? Yeah, I'm good. Right behind you, Connor. You two set up a perimeter. I'm gonna see if I can pull one of these drives. Careful, John. They're redundant, so Skynet shouldn't know they're missing. What good is that? Depends what kind of information they're storing here. Schematics, access codes, flight plans, who knows? Look for the controls! I'll do it! Angie, no! Connor, I have faith in you. Angie. She back there. John, you inspired her. You inspired all of us to join you on this mission. And now she's dead. She was right, you know. When she said it was a suicide mission. Why are you talking like this? You read me, Connor? Repeat. John Connor, this is David Weston. Can you read me? Yeah, David. I'm here. Oh, man. I'm trying to raise you forever. And almost giving up hope. Well, please tell me you're still on the way. Yeah. We're still coming. We're just a few miles out. We'll be there soon. This is John Connor calling Resistance Command Bakersfield. Do you copy? Repeat. This is John Connor calling... John Connor? You're alive? Thought you went down with Murphy's chopper. Listen, Linda, we're going back into Eagle Rock on a rescue mission. Can you back us up with air power? Buy us enough time to get in and rescue our men? Wish I could. Last time we tried that, their carrot shredded our birds. And then there's that harvest. Right. Well, what if I told you that won't be a problem? All right. She's good to go. She'll steer herself straight to Skynet, stopping at all our primary targets. Only problem is, I've still got no way to control her guns remotely. You do now? Look, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not too good with apologies, but, uh, we were almost out of the city when we saw your fireworks display. I don't know how you did it, but me and some of the men started talking and we figured, well, you know, if you got this far on your own, imagine what you can do with some help. Amazing. Just amazing. We don't have a lot of time. Washington, Torres, and Jones will escort you back to our vehicles where you can get medical attention and wait for evac. Hey, you're not resistance. Who are you? They can fill you in later. Right now, I need to figure out how to get inside that building. You have any ideas? The service tunnels. They're tight, but they'll take us there. Us? I'm going with you, Connor. Least I can do after everything you've done. I can't ask you to do that. You're not. Let's go. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Get those guys back to the trucks. And be careful. This is John Connor calling Resistance HQ. 
Do you copy? We hear you, Connor. Go ahead. I'm going to bring the turrets offline. Give us five minutes or so to get out of here, then blanket the place. Great work. We got choppers coming in to evacuate. Where should I have them meet? There's some wounded men by the outer wall. Get them out first. Copy that. system to send out an EMP. We're forced to shut down. They'll reboot in a few minutes, so we better get out of here. Okay. Follow me. Asking why we did it. Why we sacrificed so much for just three men. But it wasn't about the numbers. It was about the message. It was about principle. I think in time they'll understand. I think deep down they already do. It was just a small victory that day, but already things are different. All around me, I see change. I used to think of the world the way it used to be, and try to find strength in those old memories. But now I think of the future instead, of the world we're going to create. And it gives me faith. <laughs> 